Hey boos and welcome back to It's Told by Ray. I am your girl Ray and this is my YouTube channel. Bitch, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I post. You want to be notified so that you can be a part of the Ray fam, aka the littest fam in the motherfucking YouTube land. And that is just on period. Please do not forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience because a bad bitch always leaves links, okay? Please do not forget to also follow me on my Twitch as well as join the Ray Fam Discord. Would love to see you guys there, period. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing on my blog episode four and... And yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I hope that you guys are ready to get into it. Yeah. I know I already said it, but I really appreciate how understanding you're being about us not being able to send you back. It's not your fault. You lost your job. <laughs> I feel awful. I've been dreading telling you for months. So, okay. The dad knowing for months is wild as shit. Even though he thought to himself, yeah, I could find a new job. If you really sit and think about it, it's almost like, okay, but why wouldn't you even tell me that there is a possibility I might not be able to go to school, especially if you know, like, how much I'm enjoying being in school and that it's a really good thing for me and you know that I like it. Why? Like, why would you not tell me? It's just, it's weird. And you could have told me. Fact. Maybe if you had, then I could have figured it out with a scholarship or a grant. I don't want to put that stress on you. Great, because finding out last minute that I am stuck in Free Ridge isn't stressful at all. It's very fucking stressful, especially with all of the shit that you done been through just being in this place. <laughs> the last three seasons is wild as shit. And let's talk about how we're in episode four and Monse still doesn't know that they have found Cuchillo's body. She still doesn't know this. No one has told her yet. Nobody cares. Yes, this is Monte. Why are we here? If they offer water, do I take it? No, that's exactly what they want. They fill you up with liquids and don't let you pee until you talk. Someone tell me what's going on. The bones. Her bones. Found. When? Months ago. What? Shh. You guys, we need to be smart. We need to think of a reason we were all out in that forest that day. I can't believe not one of you called me. Which is exactly what I'm thinking. It's wild as shit. Even for Jamal, even if you were beeping, this girl whole life could have been in danger. Someone could have fucking called her. Why didn't Ruby call her? I'm upset. Because last thing I heard from you, you said I called you too much. No, I didn't. But you did. Okay, I got it. I have an idea. Bigfoot. No, Bigfoot could work. That is a terrible idea. Fine, then what? I don't care, but whatever it is, we need to get on the same page. And then they loud as shit sitting here trying to get their story together as if they not in the whole fucking police station. Like, people can't fucking hear them. Ah, Jamal, you are a child. And so am I. We're not 18. They can't force us to stay. We should go. If you leave now, your parents will find out. And you'll just end up back here again, under even more suspicion. We don't know what they know. Could be nothing. Let's not get over dramatic. <laughs> Says the queen of all drama queens. Now you're just talking out your ass. No, you were on that butt dial. I heard you ripping me apart in front of all your friends. What? Mm -hmm. Monte Finney? Follow me. We got a tip on an open investigation. An Uber driver said you and your three friends were dropped off at the Angeles Crest Forest in July 2018. Bigfoot! Excuse me? We were searching for Bigfoot. So, okay. Let's really break this down and talk about it because from here on out is when the episodes start to not make any sense. You mean to tell me, Caesar, who is a whole gang member, who we saw be taken to jail in the first episode 
forget the, the other three. Maybe the B Bigfoot thing was believable for the other three. But you mean to tell me the police really fucking bought this Bigfoot story from Caesar? Bought the Bigfoot story in general because it just don't make sense. What kind of investigation was they doing? You know, a thank you would be nice. Thanks, Caesar. Yeah. Sorry I said Bigfoot was a terrible idea. I wasn't talking about Caesar. I was talking about me. Okay, but it was Caesar's idea. Oh, of course you wouldn't give me any credit because you hate me. What? Hold on. I'm the one that called and texted you, and you never got back to me. Okay, well, let me re-trigger myself so I can give you a little refresher. Mm. I left you a message. You called me back. Only you didn't. It was your butt. I heard everything you said about me to your friend, Sherry. No, Sherry? We weren't talking about you. That was like two years ago. How do you remember? Because Sherry and I weren't friends. We were lab partners. We never talked about anything personal. I must have been talking about my chem teacher because he was like a total weird eight-year-old. Well, I don't really care what you think. <laughs> and you're not going to get back in my good graces just because your ass is stuck back in Free Ridge. <laughs> this is where it starts to not make no sense. She explains herself and you still don't fucking believe her? What do you want from her? Like, and even then... Old Monse would have made this such a bigger deal. She wouldn't have explained herself. It wouldn't have been what he got. So why is he upset after she told him, hey, it's not even about you. And I'm sorry that you felt like that, bro. But I would never say those things about you. And I care about you. You're my friend. You're the one who blew me off. How are you going to still turn around and insult me pretty much with the free ridge dig? Like, what? Come on, ease up. It's been two years. It's water under the bridge. Oh, oh. Like the water under the bridge that washed or stole our money? You know I'm gonna make this right. And when I do, we never have to talk again. What was this whole argument? And again, the question. The golden question of the season. Let me bring the mic closer for this. Because y'all may not be able to hear me when I say it. What money? Fucking upset. Can you believe Monse lying about her chemistry teacher? She's trying to make me feel like I'm crazy. Well, she's so frustrating. I know. Husband ordered ribs from Tony Roma's with jalapeno slather sauce. And she knows I love ribs. You hacked her Amazon? Oh. And then if he broke up with her, why do they have him being so obsessed? Like, we share an account and a Netflix and a Pinterest. Javalia. How are you? <laughs> Uh, Ruby needs some advice about Jasmine. I mean, I think Ruby deserves to know the truth, don't you? Well, <laughs> the truth could hurt him. Haha, uh, wouldn't it hurt him more not to know? What if he found out from someone else? Someone else who hacked your stupid telephone. Ruby, Jasmine will tell you when she's ready. They be treating Ruby like he is so soft, like he can't handle anything. If I was him, I would be upset that I was one of the last few people to find out that uh, my grandma is dying, essentially, or is sick. Like, I would be really sad. They know it's Cuchillos. Shit's about to get real rough out here. For me? No, for you. You're the one who worked for her. Technically, we both did. I'm trying to look out for you. You haven't looked out for me in years. I'm good. You don't get it. Cuchillos was the umbrella protecting all you Santos from getting wet. Hey, I'm not worried. They know their place. Caesar is really fucking annoying. Trying to be this gang member. He is so fucking hard-headed. My guy. I knew you were soft. From the first episode. So if I could tell by watching you that you look soft, my guy. If you look soft to me, you got to look soft to them. Why are you being weird? Why don't you just listen? Open up your big ass ears and listen. Hey, how did it go? As expected. He's got blinders on. Thanks for trying. This shit's on me. If Caesar hadn't grown up this way. But he did. And do you know what he had growing up that you didn't? You. you. Yes. You raised a smart kid. But you have to have faith that he's smart enough to figure it out on his own. No, we don't. We're getting out of here now. Go to Portland. What? Why? Let's just rip off the band-aid and go. 
Are you sure? It's time to move on. I'm sorry? What are you sorry for? Oh, um... Nothing. <laughs> then why are you texting sorry? Hmm. Well, because if I don't, then that just makes my life a lot harder. And this right here just goes to show Marseille has grown. Who this? <laughs> that is so disrespectful. I, that's so disrespectful. You me? Monse. Yes, it's Monse, dickhole. I can't believe you blocked me. Well, maybe I was just ignoring you. Ever think about that? Jamal, give it up. I was not talking about you on that call. Oh, I wasn't born yesterday. And even if I was, I'd still be like, goo -goo, gaga, bullshit. <laughs> you were so quick to cancel me. Do you know how many times I tried calling you or texting you? No idea. You've been blocked for a long time. Oh, okay, so you'd rather let our friendship die than have one uncomfortable conversation? Wow. Well, it's great to know how much our friendship meant to you. And that's what I'm saying. He never thought, like, oh to confront her because that's what i would have done i would uh the next time she called me i'd have been like hey bitch what was up with that shit that you were saying like that shit is really weird like uh i don't know how i feel about you talking to me like that behind your friend and then my say could have been like oh no what would you heard i was talking about my teacher that's wild as shit why would you think that i would be talking about you just some random bitch like to me it seems like they all stop being friends for no fuck ass reason and they clearly are children who don't know how to communicate with each other that's what it's that's what it seems to me why they broke up hello which is how people usually start a call oh hey jamal she knows i love her toes there's no other way to interpret that you sure she could just be fashion inept which she is i thought you were gonna wait until she tells you what's up they're really like first of all we're on episode four four and nothing has happened yet i just don't i don't know uh they just called and she actually seemed upset like not mad but like she has feelings and i hurt them feelings that's weird i know from mr martinez with love hmm they're beautiful but these aren't from ruby yes they are ruby would never buy flowers already in full bloom they last two days max he'd be throwing his money away okay fine i bought the flowers and i wrote the card but only because ruby is too lovesick to get out of bed too pained to pick up a pen let alone a phone to call you really yes i'm telling you ruby is truly madly deeply lovesick I hate seeing him like this. It's driving me crazy. Aha! And there it is. He's driving you crazy. The first honest thing you've said so far. And that is why you're here. Okay, fine. I'm foisting. Please take him back. The kids wrote up an entire list of things they want to do with you while you're here. Okay. Well. <laughs> Very ambitious. <laughs> it is, but maybe not if I stay for a couple more days. Do you need to call your dad and check? Oh, no. No, it's cool. Trust me. Is everything okay? No. My dad can't send me back to Mayfield. My mama would be like, don't be going over there and sharing our business with them folk. Mm -mm. My favorite part of Christmas is how it's a season of hope and love and second chances. Jamal, I have given Ruby plenty of second chances. And aren't you the one that cried third wheel? Okay, I don't even need a wheel this time. I'll just jog alongside your tandem bike and i don't need ruby on repeat all day every day jamal look at her amazon jamal she bought ribs what does it mean she switched her tampon brand why i just didn't want anything <laughs> inside of me that reminded me of him no more ruby now be monse let's make a plan non-plan to meet up because I don't need a man to tell me what to do or what not to do, or definitely don't tell me what I should or should not know, because you know I know. Suck a butt! And I'm a total asshole to all my friends. <laughs> not him copying her fucking crying face. I am weak. Except that last part. She's not that self-aware. She would never admit when she's wrong. No, she's pretty good at apologizing. She just did to me last night. Maybe you and Monse needed to break up to appreciate each other's friendship. I'm going to teach you how to sew. Sit. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but I'm good. Ruby, you need to learn how to do things for yourself. 
I have you. Mm, that hurts my spirits. That's, this is so sad. The news of Kuchiro's death will hit the streets soon. And we need to... When was she killed? We need to find him and take him out. Right now isn't the time to focus on watching each other's backs and making sure that the streets know that we're solid as ever. Because with or without Cuchillos, we're still Los Santos. Because with or without Cuchillos, we're still Los Santos. What is this act like? Oh, I hate this accent. And like Diego, I have been watching the, the interviews. His voice is not this deep. It's deep, don't get me wrong, but it is not this deep. <laughs> it just makes him look goofy and like unbelievably trying to be fake gangster. That's what it gives. They would have been better off having him just use his real voice. I have backhanded compliment blindness. It's not a thing, but it's real. Like my affliction for Monse. I mean, that butt dial changed my entire life. And that's a bad thing? No, it's a good thing. I'm living my best life. Hmm, because of Monse. No, I've had the same friends for forever. They weren't holding me back, but because they were always around, I, I was always in my comfort zone. I never got to branch out on my own before. If I hadn't canceled Monse, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have evolved. Hmm. And you can't evolve without conflict. Which also, I feel him. Because, you know, that moment, I guess, changed a lot to him. Changed him a lot is what sh I meant to say. It changed him a lot in a way that, like, I guess it helped him grow up. It helped him realize that, like, maybe, you know, he was weird or awkward or whatever. And he is living his best life, which he does owe to Monse. But at the same time, it was a mistake. A misunderstanding. I can't get back together with Ruby. I can't. Plus, maybe some alone time will be good for him. Yeah. You're coming with me. I can't let a friend spend Christmas alone. Seriously? I mean, we're friends now. Ruby, Ruby can, can never know. There's and I like that they're friends now. I think that is very cute. And I'm glad that she came to the realization that she can't get back together with Ruby. And I would have been okay with this realization had it not been something that went back and forth and back and forth and will they won't they are they are they not i would have enjoyed it had it not been that i've been thinking and i want to pay for you to go back to mayfield no i can't let you do that no you can and you should it's what your mom would want for you it's what i want for you oh my, <laughs> my mom also would have been uh a little in her feelings that you know, she couldn't pay for me to do something. So this person who is my mom's, well, let me say, if in my case, I only have my mom. So it would be a mom situation. My stepmom offers, oh, like I can, I can pay for you to do this. My mom would feel a little hurt that I went behind her back and tried to, you know, pretty much, I don't know. It would just be the going behind her back thing that she wouldn't fuck with. And make it seem like, damn, like, I couldn't do it for you, so you went to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Then it said, y'all, we're, we're going to move on to the next episode swiftly, quickly, and professionally. Thank you guys for watching episode four of On My Block With Me. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified for when I be posting my On My, my Block reactions. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, boos.